North Korea is a place of many secrets, with very limited access allowed to the rest of the world. Not much is known about what goes on under the rule of its now infamous leader, Kim Jong-un. However, there are some facts that we do know about this elusive figure and his state that are truly mind-boggling. Here are five things you need to know about Kim Jong-un. As always, sit back and enjoy. He was brought up in Switzerland. Today, Kim Jong-un's name is synonymous with North Korea, but many people do not know that he spent a large part of his early life in Switzerland, where from 1994 to 2000, he lived with his aunt and attended the International School of Bern, under the fake name of Pak Un. Neighbours often reported that he was very quiet, kept to himself, was always accompanied by guards, and was driven around in vans and cars with Korean embassy plates on them. He was also apparently a big fan of basketball, as he was often seen playing it alone in his courtyard. Kim's aunt, who defected to the US in 1998, has confirmed that the mysterious child was indeed Kim. He takes mourning very seriously. Funerals are never a pleasant occasion, but they can be made much more unpleasant when one of those in attendance is a power-crazed dictator. Kim Jong-un has a history of punishing those who he does not feel are mourning hard enough at funerals. For instance, in 2011, after the funeral of his father, Kim Jong II, Kim Jong-un made it a policy that anyone who didn't seem to be sufficiently upset over the loss of his father would be imprisoned. This included one of his own advisors. This resulted in nationwide grief, with people flocking into the streets and sobbing in order to stay out of jail. Kim Jong also stated that if anyone who was found to be too drunk in the days following his father's funeral, that no trace of him down to his hair should remain. He had a cheese addiction. Many people love cheese, but Kim Jong-un took things to another level. His cheese of choice is reportedly Swiss cheese, which he may have picked up a liking for during his time spent living in Switzerland. The leader of North Korea has reportedly spent thousands importing the finest Swiss cheese into the country, which he apparently used to pair with French wine. However, Kim consumed so much of the dairy product that it seriously impacted his health. In 2014, he vanished for over three months, with Korean officials stating that he was feeling discomfort and was being treated. Outside observers had noted that he had gained some considerable weight, and some believe that due to his poor, cheese-heavy diet, he had developed gout. As evidenced by videos of him that surfaced, showing an apparent limp before being whisked away for treatment. Since then, there have been no more mention of his cheese-related antics, so it's assumed he has managed to kick his habit. He wants to make North Korea a fairyland. Kim Jong-un's policies are confusing to say the least. We've already covered his mandatory mourning for all his subjects, as well as his expensive food addictions while the majority of North Korea's citizens wallow in poverty. However, in 2015, he released one of the most bizarre articles ever. It was a 7,000 word manuscript detailing Kim Jong-un's vision for the ideal North Korean future. In the manifesto, he placed a strong emphasis on utilizing Korea's natural resources, stating that he wanted the strong wind of fish farming blow across the country, as well as transforming Korea into a country of mushrooms. He also went on to state that he expected every single one of his officers' wives to be fully subservient to them, or as he puts it, become dependable assistants to their husbands. But the most bizarre thing in the whole document is when King Jong-un rounds off by saying that he wants Korea to become the people's fairyland. Now admittedly, we are no experts on just what exactly fairyland consists of, but I'm pretty sure it's not forced labour camps and mass surveillance. He has executed 340 people in six years. South Korea's National Security Agency released a report in December 2016, in which they estimated Kim Jong-un has executed at least 340 people since he came to power in 2011. Of these, 140 were his own officials and aides. 
Kim does not stand for anyone who disagrees with him or his policies. For instance, in 2016, he had North Korea's education official, Kim Jong-in, executed by a firing squad because he felt he had a bad attitude. In 2015 alone, he publicly executed five officials who had enraged him using an anti-aircraft gun. Perhaps the most famous incident came in 2013 when Kim Jong-un's uncle, Jang Song-tak, was accused and found guilty of conspiring against him and selling secrets to South Korea. Whether this was the case or not, and Kim just wanted to remove a potential threat to his power is not known, but Jang was executed not long after the first accusations came to light. And while it's widely believed that he was executed by a firing squad, there is a rumour which states his death was much more brutal, and that allegedly, Jang was stripped naked and then fed to starving dogs. So that's five facts about King Jong-un. I hope you've enjoyed this top five short. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.